this one's complicated and a little hard to explain. So, very recently, uh, Trevor Moore, comedian, uh, oh God, I think he was on a comedy show, The Whitest Boys You Know. He did this, this, uh, he does musical stuff, and, and looking back, some of it's really quite good. But he did this one in particular, my computer just became self-aware. And it's kind of gone viral, and it's and he it got four million views really fast, and everyone's talking about it. I reposted it, I think, somewhere, and it's like ah, this has really got a lot of interest. And my my cat wants to jump in on this. Ah, here, kind of wanted to talk about it because I've watched it like a dozen times. I watched my computer became self aware and. There's this, and it, it it caught my attention because of this this one thing. It's it's about like this kind of stoner dude is doing a bunch of drugs. His computer becomes self aware, but then it it increasingly becomes weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. Like he kind of falls off the edge of the world type of story. I mean, it's just a, a funny story, but maybe the reason it got so viral so fast is because. Well, a number of reasons. It's really good, for one. But two, there's this kind of story that I really like, where it's a normal-ish guy, like someone who's average or below average, just a bit of below the average. And they they just start of start snowballing off the end of the world. Like things just get strange and then stranger and then really strange that seems like a very specific genre but i can think of a like i was thinking about it i can think of a lot of examples of it bill and ted's excellent adventure comes to mind immediately i mean and the boat between that movie and bogus journey and the tv show where there's time travel they fight death androids past future all sorts of crazy crap uh crazy they were in hell at one point I mean just just the weirdness of it but also there was a series of books three books and a movie called John dies at the end the John dies at the end trilogy yes Emerson wants to get into this and you're a good boy and a similar theme of these guys are exposed to an other world very mundane guys, like normal guy, normal, normal guys, exposed to uh, a drug called the soy sauce, which makes everything weird, and they fight demons and go into alternate dimensions and all sorts of weirdness. Um, dude, where's my car? Uh, there's this really good... It's a song by Tool, actually. And called Rosetta Stone. As near as I can tell, I mean, it's a, a mental patient is admitted. Well, then leave for God's sake. Just leave. Like a mental patient is is admitted, and he's not talking to anyone. And then finally, he does talk, and he's just a staccato, crazy, just crazy nonsense. Where uh, an angel comes down, and it's an alien, and the alien says. Oh, I should just pull E.T. revealed to me his singular purpose. He says, you are the chosen one, the one, who t the one who will deliver the message, a message of hope for those who choose to hear it, and a warning for those who do not. Me, the chosen one. They chose me, and I didn't even fucking graduate high school. And it's like that, that one line, I really remember that one line from that song. Like, I think about that a lot. Like, uh, the rest of the song is so fast, it's so paced so fast and so crazy it's hard to follow it, but that line stuck with me. It, it, it kind of got my wheels turning simply because I think there's a an undercurrent sort of zeitgeist that's being captured in Trevor Moore's song, the Tool song, Bill and Ted, John Dies at the End, and, and others, where you just have this guy who is confront, uh, you know, it's a hero's journey. It's a man confronted it's a very extreme version of the hero's journey, and it's a very specific theme of one. It's one of uh, supernatural awakening, surrealism, um, 
uh, God, existentialism. It's just this bizarre reality-bending experience, like a reality-bending version, uh, a, a surreal awakening version of the hero's journey made comedic because it is played almost totally dead straight except for you know our unsung hero who is such a normal is, is such an unexpected hero just someone someone very mundane kind of a loser in a such a strange situation in such a, a surreal bizarre one and I, god i think if there was actually TV show or a Netflix series or, or Amazon or something like a something that kind of tapped into that a bit better I would watch the fuck out of it I really would I would love to see I mean one of my comments about John dies at the end the, the first book in which the movie is loosely based on is that it comes across more of a series anyway and when it does that it's actually a bit better the second two books in John Dies at the End, which are uh, This Book is Full of Spiders and What the Hell Did I Just Read, I think are the second are the second and third books. Those are more one complete, to be fair, better written story arcs, but I think the first one's more charming because it comes off as more of... It comes across as more episodic. Bill and Ted the same way. I mean, even within the Bill and Ted movies, there are parts where they're working on this book report or they're in hell or they're dead or they're fighting androids or something it, it has sections where they're clearly doing one weird ass thing and then they move on to the next weird ass thing and so on god there's like and the entire conspiracy thing undercurrent and all there it has a it's almost a genre i don't know what to call it but it feels like it's almost a genre it's almost complete enough to be kind of a, a little sub-genre, a sub-genre of what, I don't know. Not quite science fiction or fantasy or something else. It's just strange. And that's what, and that's what makes it kind of funny when you have that, that juxtaposition of here's this mind-expanding crazy experience being experienced by a total goof. God, I would just love to see, I would love to see more of that. And that's, going back to the full circle here, that's kind of why I think the Trevor Moore video took off the way it did. It's, I, there's something there, and it's hard to articulate, and I'd like to see more of it, I guess. Just this crazy tear I wanted to go off on while cats are running around my room in the middle of the night. That's me, I'm out.